there's some actual sunshine outside. I'm excited. It's still way too cold to go outside. I just walked pepper and it's literally freezing outside. Okay, it's one degree above freezing, but the ground is still frozen. So it's very, very cold outside. But I hope that it stays until this afternoon because if the sun stays until this afternoon, it will warm up a bit by then. And then we could go out into the forest and look for mushrooms and just enjoy the weather a little bit. But first, I had to deal with the fact that just about everything was dirty. Number 71. Everything is dirty. Late February 2024. Bob isn't cleaning properly, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to get the dishwasher to work properly again. I think some of the stuff is clogged and I hope that just soaking some of it in a vinegar solution will help. Yeah, well, that's what we're gonna try. Time to get my hair out of the way. Let me see if I can't solve this. First, a deep clean. I do that whenever the machine asks for it with baking soda and vinegar. In case you're wondering, the towel roll makes Bob run more quietly. There is less vibration. Our water is very hard, so I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed and used vast amounts of vinegar. When I was ready to run a cleaning cycle, a new problem appeared. The door sensor thought it was being touched. Great. Dishwasher surgery it was. Luckily, I'm allowed to try fixing things myself without losing my warranty. From a previous repair, I knew where the sensor was, so I didn't even have to open up the entire door. While I installed a software update on Bob, I cleaned and put away the canner. Yay, all done with potatoes. I still think it's weird that my dishwasher has access to one of our Wi-Fi networks. I didn't want dirty dishes all day, so I cleaned most by hand again. I also used the time to feed my kefir grains some fresh milk. They were in the fridge while we were sick. The first few rounds after a stay in the fridge hotel aren't very good, but soon I'll have kefir again. My surgery had worked and the software update was successfully installed. I decided to fixate the sensor with some electrical tape to avoid a reoccurrence. And then I screwed things back together. I am right-handed, but as I never know when my hands will be too painful, I very often try things with the left hand too. It's still very hard, but it has often helped. While Bob ran a very noisy cleaning cycle, I decided it was time to clean the window frame. Okay, honestly, I was just planning to air out the room and got disgusted by how dirty everything was. Mm. Somehow that opened the floodgates and suddenly I was cleaning the entire kitchen. I even took the fridge magnets off the freezer to clean the door. It had been weeks since I'd spilled some kombucha. The tiny kitchen heats up quickly. With Bob running the hottest cycle, it was getting warm. When I was done with the freezer, I noticed spots all over the door and around the light switch. So more cleaning. These magnets are from places my husband and I visited together or lived at. A lot of them are ugly, but together we love them. After all that cleaning, my muscles were requesting a break and some attention. 
so I turned on an audiobook and gave them a massage. And then we finally got to enjoy the sunshine. With permission from the vet, Pepper was even allowed to go without the plastic bag and bandages. When we returned, I made a quick salad with fries for a late lunch. I improvised the dressing with some oil, vinegar, cream and honey. I'll have to learn some options here over the summer. This one was delicious though, so it's fine that I don't know what I'm doing apparently. Salad gets so much better when you pair it with fries. The freshness of the salad just pairs so well with the taste and crunch of the fries. Weirdly, I got the idea from a YouTube video I never watched where someone explained why they do this. Unfortunately, one of our most reliable mushroom trees in summer is dead now. The tree was sick, but it is still sad. I'm sure we'll find other mushroom spots, but I hate seeing old trees taken down. Especially as I know we humans are likely to blame for this tree getting sick. Pepper still had to wear the bandage most of the time. In real time, I am happy to report a full recovery. With the ground frozen in the mornings, I admit I wasn't sad about short walks. Ground's so frozen when we wake up, but in the afternoon, well over lunch, it gets really, really pretty out and a little warmer. So we went for a long walk yesterday and it was really beautiful. I'm so happy that the temperatures are slowly getting to a point where we can work at it again. I mean, there's sunshine, look at it. Ah, nice. So long, and thanks for being here. Help me make these videos. Go to rootsandcalluses.com support or check out the link in the description below.